you probably have heard the name of this famous American rapper called Two Chains. But what is blockchain? <sighs> Hi, I'm Kaden from VIA Value Investing Academy. In our previous video, I spoke about what is cryptocurrency, who created the first cryptocurrency, and what is the meaning of decentralization. By the end of this video, I'll explain what is the meaning of blockchain technology and how Bitcoin came about. So what is blockchain technology? If you look at the phrase blockchain technology, it's a technology that consists of blocks that are chained or connected together, and these blocks are used to record financial transactions. Let's first look at what's inside this block. Each block consists of three key things. Number one, data. Number two, hash of the block or rather a fingerprint that uniquely identifies each block. Number three, hash of the previous block. The data that is stored in each block depends on the type of blockchain. For example, in a Bitcoin blockchain, it stores transaction details of the sender, receiver, and the amount of coins transacted. To uniquely identify this block, it needs to have a unique fingerprint or a hash. If any content inside this block is changed, this hash has to be recalculated and it will change. The third element of this block is the hash of the previous block. If you place this block on the table and the previous block side by side, it forms a chain of blocks, thus a block chain. So what makes the blockchain such a big deal? This is because it's much more secure as compared to any information stored in a centralized server. Let's look at how it really works. In this picture, you will see three blocks chained together. The hash of the third block points to the second block, and the hash of the second block points to the first block. Since the first block is the first, we call it the genesis block. If someone tries to tamper with any content in the second block, the fingerprint or hash will change. The third block now is unable to point or to be chained to the second block. That will affect other subsequent blocks. To make it even more difficult to tamper with any blocks, there is a mechanism called the proof of work, which slows down the creation of any new blocks. As such, if one block is being tampered with, it takes a lot of time to recreate subsequent affected blocks, thus making it very difficult to tamper with. In addition, blockchains are not stored in one central location, or rather centralized, but they are distributed across a peer-to-peer -peer network, which are decentralized. For example, if someone joins a certain peer-to-peer -peer network or P2P network, he and everyone else inside this network will get an exact copy of this blockchain. This means that if there are 1 million people inside this P2P network and one person wants to tamper with one block, he has to change that block plus subsequent blocks in one single blockchain for one user and repeat the same feats for all other users in the same network, making it almost impossible. So where does Bitcoins come from this blockchain? If you have heard before the term Bitcoin mining or cryptocurrency mining, you are basically a miner digging for some hidden gems, except that you do not need a spade, but a personal computer powerful and fast enough to verify one megabyte worth of Bitcoin transaction, also known as block. Once you have verified the transactions and you are the first miner to arrive at the right answer or the closest answer to a numeric problem, you will be rewarded with Bitcoins or some other cryptocurrencies. In other words, miners are basically minting currency. There will eventually come a point when Bitcoin mining ends because as per Bitcoin protocol, the total number of Bitcoins will be kept at 21 million. However, because the rate of Bitcoin mine is reduced over time. The final Bitcoin won't be circulated until around the year 2140. 
In summary, Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies are just e-tokens or virtual money that are rewarded to miners who has used their personal computers to verify transactions. Just like you who are rewarded with some points in playing a very difficult electronic game. And these points can now be traded between buyers and sellers at huge prices such as US $76,000 for one Bitcoin. In my next video, I will talk about why the prices of cryptocurrencies have skyrocketed and will I invest in such cryptocurrencies? Do remember to click subscribe to our VIA channel and like this video. And please feel free to comment on this video if you have any other questions. And I shall see you in our next video.